What's up everybody, Engineer Joe here. Now I've learned a lot about electrical engineering and about being a better student throughout the entirety of my electrical engineering degree. So here are the five things I wish I could tell myself before starting engineering. Let's go. So the first thing I wish I knew before studying engineering, and this is a really important one, the knowledge is more important than the grade. So the most extreme case of this is you graduating with a 4.0, but actually not remembering or retaining any of the information from any of your classes. For obvious reasons, this would be very bad. But on the other hand, if you retained everything, but failed all of your classes because you don't care about the grade, then you won't end up with a degree Degree and it'd be pretty dang hard to find a job. But I still argue the knowledge is more important than the grade. And here's why. So I found in my degree, when I started caring about the content instead of my individual grade on every little assignment, I started retaining the information better. I learned it better. I was more confident in my skills in the class, which turned out to actually get me better grades. Personally, I would much rather have all the skills I need and graduate with a 2.5 or a 3.0 and totally lost all the important information throughout my degree. And so it is a balance. You do want both. Ideally, you retain all the information and get an A. That is the best case scenario. But I learned towards the end of my degree that as long as I really knew concepts and the practices of the classes, then the rest would kind of fall into place, which did end up happening. And in all my latter classes that I applied this mindset, I learned a ton more. And so now the second point is kind of similar to the first. It also has to do with a balance, but this is more balancing your engineering classes and what you're learning with the rest of life. So I'll start off with an example. I was an electrical engineering major and I had a pretty bad mindset in that if it's not directly imperative to me being a better engineer, I don't really care about it. So I tried hard in my calculus classes and my physics classes in the first year, but in my general education classes like philosophy, psychology, and the core classes to my college. I didn't apply much mental effort to them. And one, that hurt my GPA because I didn't try as hard in them. But two, I missed out on world information that I could have learned and personal growth that I wish I would have paid attention to, which is truly invaluable. So now reflecting back, if I would have put more time and energy into those courses, I could learn more about myself and the people around me and potentially made more friends and met more like-minded individuals to just overall better myself and my network and group of friends that in turn actually do help my pursuit of being a better engineer. And so the third thing I wish I knew before studying engineering is to make friends with winners. So the winners are the people in your class that retain the most information, they ask good questions, they're paying attention, and they're the ones that are gonna go off and get internships and get jobs, maybe start their own company, just be successful in engineering. So from a networking perspective, it's obvious why you want to be around those people and to be friends with them. But specifically in your engineering courses, they're basically giving you the blueprints of how to succeed. So if you see they're posting in the Discord, hey, anyone done the homework? get on the first night after it's posted. Obviously to be that good in the class, they're outworking you. So you know, oh, if I wanna be at that level in this course and in my degree, you know, I gotta start doing homework the first night that it's released. So these people are also typically really good at giving help because they know so much and engineers can be a little gloaty and try to over explain things. But knowing exactly where these people are at and how much they know on a given subject can give you a lot of confidence going into a test. Because if the successful people that you've been working with in your study groups, they're unfamiliar about topics A and B, but are really good at C, and you're in the same boat with those three topics, and you know, hey, I shouldn't be so scared that I'm kind of iffy about topics A and B, because that's the top of the class is iffy about A and B. It's just that hard, which does happen in some engineering classes. It does happen in most <laughs> engineering classes. So make sure you're making the right friends in your engineering classes, because you can learn a lot from the successful people. And that is a life lesson as well, but we're just talking about the classes. All right, so the fourth thing is the importance of extracurriculars. So I can't overstate how important extracurriculars are for you as an engineering student. Projects, clubs, making your online portfolio, networking, these are all extracurriculars to me and all do wonders for your higher ability, how well-rounded you are as a human, and just your success entering the real world. So I won't talk about all those things, but maybe, maybe the most important thing is joining a club because this is kind of networking, doing a project, learning how to talk to engineers, etc., all in one. So in your club, you're learning real world skills of how to work with engineers, how to plan out a project with a team and collaborate to develop some engineering design. So being in a club does wonders for your resume and is a talking point during interviews and just gives you a more well-rounded approach to engineering that normal classes don't really give you. And so for all those reasons, being in a club is really important and be 
beyond that, extracurriculars, like making your online portfolio to show what you've done in your club or doing a side project to give you direct experience in whatever field you wanna go into are all just so very important and make you so much more well-rounded of an individual and make you so much more well-rounded of a prospect that goes above and beyond what everybody else does, which is just get through the classes and get the degree. That's kind of the bare minimum here, which even that is just a lot, but that is the bare minimum. All right, and so the last thing I wish I knew before starting engineering, and this is a super important one that helped me so much in my classes and my mental health or engineering, is going to tutoring sessions religiously. I know, it sounds a little weird, and I didn't exactly go to them religiously myself, but tutoring sessions are the most underrated way to get through engineering classes. Most of the time, the person tutoring you just took the exact same class with the exact same professor and the exact same test just months before you did. And there is not a person on the planet that is better suited to help you through that class than that exact person who just went through what you're going through. They have their past homework, they probably have their past tests, and they can either share that with you or give you hints. Some of them don't like sharing it. On exactly what to expect in the coming tests. And obviously I'm not advocating to cheat, and all professors change things up a little bit at least, but just having a grasp on what the layout of a test is gonna be like, just for me brought so much comfortability going into the test. Not to mention, tutors are pretty smart cookies and will help you through every homework assignment, every lab, everything that you're struggling with. They've struggled through that as well. And it is literally their job to get you through that thing. I borderline would have failed a couple classes if I did not relentlessly ask questions to my tutors because a lot of these things don't stick naturally. If you're in engineering classes, you probably understand what I'm saying. So having the extra help and the extra explanations of someone who knows it explaining it to you just saves so much time. I promise you, it will help you so much in engineering. And that's a wrap, the five things I wish I knew before I started engineering school. All these things help me so much, they'll help you too. And while you're in engineering school, there are three things you have to be doing to become the best engineering prospect you can be and those are found right here.